Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I got my hair up in a messy bun and I got no eyebrows done. But the point of this video is to talk to you about mascara and I wanna show you a few simple tricks that will help you to use mascara in a way where your eyelashes look fuller and nicer. And it's kind of like a little how-to for mascara for the girls that don't like to use false lashes every day or don't already have extensions. So if you notice, this one is pretty like blah looking and boring and this one, has like more, is like a lot fuller and it's just thicker and it looks more like alive. Okay, cool. So let's get started. Let me show you what I did. Okay, as you can see, I have like simple makeup but no mascara on. So my eyes look like kind of little. So um, we're gonna fix that. The point of this video is I just want to show you how to use mascara and I want to show you the difference on how you could just like change your technique a little bit, up your game with your mascara application so that your eyelashes look longer. Eyelashes are like a thing, sometimes you don't want to spend all that money to have your like extensions done or you just don't want to put in the time to like put on false lashes every single day, uh, especially if you're like me. I don't do false lashes every day, it just doesn't happen. I'm gonna do one eye correctly and one eye incorrectly, or not just incorrectly, but just the other way so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna do this eye. Oh my God, my nails are painted. <laughs> Get my nails done. This eye I'm going to do um, the way, like the not so awesome way, and then this eye I'm going to do the way to make it look better. So, let's start. The eyelash curler. It's underrated. You know, this thing is actually a great tool, so check it out. We're gonna do this one. Already, what? Look at that, it just like came to life. Okay, so this one I just put a little bit. And now I'm just gonna use a simple mascara. Like this is like your simple everyday Maybelline falsies, okay? Now look at the difference. Okay, I'm gonna do a light application of mascara. Light. My brows aren't done right now either, guys, so that's another video in itself. Okay, so I just did a really light application, and you can see it already, that is just like a big difference. Okay, so here is how not to do your mascara. Not like you can't do it, it's just like, if you don't want it to be so awesome. Not so awesome. So I'm just doing one coat of mascara on my eyelashes, and that's all. So this is like just doing one simple coat, not curling them. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the difference on what I'm gonna do with this one. So you noticed I curled it, and then I put a teeny bit of mascara, like a teeny bit. If you put like all of your mascara on and you curl your eyelashes, they could stick and you could pull some out and damage them. But if you're just really gentle and you put a light coat of mascara and you put, and you curl them again, like so, they will hold much better. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm going to now put some more on. And notice that I just did a very light coat in the beginning. And now, when I do my mascara, I'm gonna start from the root and I'm going to, eh, put that sound in that, okay. And I'm gonna like wiggle it, I'm like wiggling it. And then pulling it. And also like, my eye, I'm like closing my eyelid as I go, kind of. Not like fully, but just working with my motions so that I can get it everywhere and get more coverage. I can't believe I'm doing this with my nails not painted. Reapply, putting some more mascara on my wand. Again, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Lifting up my eyebrow, it's helping it to like, doing this is helping pull it up so that I'm not like stabbing myself in the eye and that also so I can get to like the root of my eyelashes and go up. Okay, so now I've done that like twice. 
like I guess that's like two coats. So now while it's still wet, I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna like really hit the ends, like the tips. I also will like to do this. I sometimes use like two mascaras, honestly, if I like a different wand better. So in this case, this is my Buxom mascara. I cannot stand the fact that my nails are not done right now. So you, okay. So I'm taking this because I like this wand, and while it's still wet, just combing it out. Okay, so can we just look at the difference? Like, so I'm just gonna show you close up. So here is one eye with mascara on, one coat of mascara, and it just looks pretty lame, right? And now here's the other one, and it's like definitely got a lot more mascara on it. The lashes look longer, they look fuller. And then the other thing that I like to do personally is I like to make sure that my bottom is applied. And I do the same thing, this like wiggle motion. And very, and get in the corner. So suddenly this eye is like awake and happy. And um, that's the difference of putting mascara on your bottom lashes. Also, like if you look at these two, open, not so open. Open, but not so open. Just the simple tricks of mascara. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, ah! Okay, so in a way you could mess up this side would be like, say you're putting on your mascara and maybe you're like, Like, what is this? What? So, no, you wanna fix it, and you wanna make it look good. You wanna get it everywhere, not like just half of your bottom lashes, because that's weird. Okay, just taking the difference between each eye. While we're talking about mascara, I also need to tell you, this motion, I do see women do this sometimes when they're this, like, don't, that pumping motion, like I can't even do it because it just like terrifies me. But um, some girls will like pump their mascara because you're trying to get more on your wand. No, not good, don't do it. The reason why you should never pump your mascara is because you think you're doing it so you can get more product onto your wand, so you can get more mascara onto your eyelash. But in fact, you are putting air into your mascara tube and that is causing your mascara to dry out faster, to go bad faster, so you have to get a new one faster. And so you like do it more because you think you need to get more on there because it's so dry, but really it's like causing the problem more. So some girls don't know this, some do. Those of you that don't know that, just take that little tip and just roll with it because you will see that you will save yourself mascara and you will not run out of it or like have it dry up so fast. Mascara should last you like about a month or two before it will go bad and you don't want to use it anymore. Now, the another thing you can do if you're trying to get more product onto it, you could just take your mascara and like kind of like take the wand and like roll it around on the inside because you're not going to be pumping air into it and then it's like has more product on it, but your mascara is so empty that you feel like you got to pump it. Girl, just get new mascara. So that was my little like how to, my little tips on mascara. And I hope that you could take that and use it and see the difference between this one and see the difference between this one and which one looks fuller or more like bam. So I hope that was useful and I hope you learned something new that you could take with you and apply to your face. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, do all those good things. I love to talk to you. So just keep talking to me. Okay, and until next time.